In this video, we are going to talk about style mistakes all women can make. By defining problems, we can come up with solutions. The first common fashion mistake is following trends blindly. If you don't know your personal style, you can always follow the trends which doesn't serve you the best. And it ends up losing your style, confidence, and also a little bit of your money. So I think it's one of the reasons why we have so many clothing in our wardrobe, but we always think there's nothing to wear. So it's good to find our personal style and stay true with our style and only embrace the style that suits you. I know it's good to have some trendy items to have fun in your style but if you just follow the trends that doesn't serve you, I told you the problem is you end up just having tons of clothing which you don't wear. Find your style, stick with that and play around a little bit, you know, some trendy items you like. The second style mistake is ignoring color combinations. It's always good to consider colors for our style because color plays a lot of part. It also affects our mood. So many women make this mistake like wearing too much bright outfits at the same time. It's good to keep it cohesive. So wearing the similar shades in your tops and outfits could be a good solution and that also help you look slim and tall because that's not gonna cut off your torso so that's gonna give a nice silhouette. So these are some color coordination tips you can consider about your style. It's always good to know your favorite colors you can add that to your outfit that's going to help you feel better and feel confident or you can also the colors that serve you the best according to your skin tone cold tone or warm tone you can also figure out which tone is the best for you the third style mistake is too baggy clothes i know oversized are popular especially in korea so many girls are wearing baggy jeans tops shirt but it doesn't really serve you if you wear all the items in oversized. I believe that if you go with oversized top, it's good to wear skinny jeans or leggings or straight jeans. If you wear oversized bottoms, it's good to wear a fitted top such as crop tops and crop shirts. So that's gonna make your body look flaring. If you wear all loose fit oversized tops and bottoms at the same time, I think you look like a snack. <laughs> and that doesn't show your femininity. Always consider the combination oversized sided tops fitted bottoms or vice versa. Personally, I like to go with oversized tops, fitted bottoms because that combination make me look taller and make my legs look more elongated. The fourth style mistake is too many bright colors. So it's similar to the previous mistake. Some women who are really interested in fashion, they just want to show their personality, their unique style. I think it's good and bright colors always fun to see because most of people are wearing neutrals. But too many bright colors at the same time make your outfit look too much busy and complicated and that doesn't really look good. So it's good to have one bright color at the same time if you don't want to make your outfit look too much busy and complicated. So if you wear neutrals, just add some nice pop of colors by wearing colorful tops or belts, shoes, those kind of colorful accessories at the same time so you can make your outfit look more cohesive, simple, but also stylish. Stylish. So it's always not to add more chaos, confusion to your outfit like our life. So add one colorful items or clothing to your outfit that's gonna serve you the best. The fifth style mistake is too much patterns. Just one pattern is already difficult to style with other items. To prevent that, just add one pattern to your outfit. If you are comfortable with just one pattern, you can also go with two patterns later. But as a beginner, it's good to have just one pattern to your outfit. If you want to give more variety to your outfit, you can also consider different fabric. Instead of going with two patterns, you can also consider that as well. The sixth mistake is always wearing neutrals. I feel also guilty of this mistake. I also have tons of neutral items and I always stick with that. And I believe almost all mutual women have the similar mistakes. We always wear the similar shade. Although we get new clothes, sometimes they look the same. So 
the problem I also mentioned like I have so many clothes in my closet but I have nothing to wear that problem happens again <laughs> because of this issue so to prevent this mistake again we always think of other nice pop of colors you can also consider pastel colors you can also think of your favorite colors and some colors matching with your skin tone for me I like pink colors so I have many clothes in pink shade although they are not completely pink they have a pink shade so that's just making me feel good about my outfit because that's one of my favorite colors and I know what color I like so I can also buy similar shades of makeup so that also synergize at the same time neutral colors could be a little bit boring you know what I mean although they make us look stylish and chic so it's always good to have some items in nice pop of colors like I mentioned bags scarf belt shoes so you can always consider some colorful items in your style the seventh style mistake is spending too much budget styling is showing who we are and just being the person we want it's like a communication tool it's not showing up it's about showing us but some women use fashion to just like showing off their status or whatever they pursue so spending too much money in style that's gonna make us feel frustrated and could give a lot of depth just spending too much budget in terms of our income is not really good that's gonna break our soul break bank account in the end our mental health that's not really ideal right so it's always good to have some budgets on your clothes every month and it's also good to know how to mix and match with highs and lows i think that some items which should last longer and should be really comfortable you need to spend some money in that for example shoes bags outers those kind of stuff you need them last longer so it's good to invest but other items such as t-shirt jeans trendy items they don't have to need last longer so it's good to have some low or mid budget items in my opinion so it's always good to mix and match with highs and lows so you're not gonna go broke i know that feeling that's not a really good place you want to be so i recommend you to have some budget every month or every year according to your income and also know how to mix and match with lows and highs it's not about how much you spend it's about how you style with what you already have these are seven style mistakes every women make so i have some solutions for each problem so i hope all the ideas are helpful for you if you are new i'm emma i create fashion and beauty content for every women who want to be the best version of yourself so if you like that idea please subscribe thanks for watching it and i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you in my next video